Perfect. Um, so welcome everybody. My name is Bill Hinton. I'm the new camp director at YMCA Camp Hayawenta. Um, I'm really excited to see you guys. I am, uh, so I'm not a, a new camp, well, I'm new to Hayawenta, but I'm not really that new. Uh, my son, Luke, uh, has been coming to uh, Hayawenta for seven years, so I've been a parent. Uh, uh, and then uh, I have also uh, been a camp director at um, a, a bunch of different Y camps, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, for 22 years. So um, it's the, I, I've, I've done this rodeo a couple of times, but just not here at Haywinta. I will also say that my son was also a scuba camp uh, camper and uh, had a great time, got certified, and uh, was uh, it was it's one of his more memorable trips. Uh, and then he went the sailing route. So um, uh, pretty cool. And so I have a, a, a nice buy-in to the SCUBA program. Um, I want to also, um, if, as we are kind of talking through things, um, if you want, uh, you can put uh, questions in the chat or at the end, you can uh, just unmute and we'll have a, a question and answer time. But I wanna introduce, uh, we'll go Mike first. Um, he's one of he's, he's our uh, dive master, and uh, so Mike, why don't you introduce yourself and uh, give a little blurb? Okay, uh, I'm Mike Dunham. This will be uh, we were just talking about that. It's either going to be my 18th or 19th summer at Hewana. Uh I was a camper. I was actually in the very first scuba cabin uh, that camp had. So I've been uh, doing diving at camp on and off for quite a while. Uh, I am a patty. Uh, master scuba diver trainer. This will be my sixth year as the instructor at Hayawana. Uh, so it's something I've been doing for a while. As Bill said, I had his son in the cabin. Um, I, I absolutely love it. And I really look forward to uh, working with all of you. Perfect. And then we also have Sal. Sal, you want to introduce yourself? Absolutely. So I'm Sal, Sal Cracciolo, and I have, uh, I have, this is going to be my third year uh, at camp this year. Um, so last year I was the uh, scuba counselor for, um, for one of the, one of the sessions. And just recently, about a few months ago, I just got my dive master certification. Um, and I have been scuba diving, at least I've had my first certification for, uh, back in 2012. So I guess um, so far I've been diving for the past 10 years. So um, it's really great to, you know, finally be a certified dive master and uh, be a part of the scuba program at Hayawenta. Awesome, thanks Sal. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I, you should have been getting some uh, communications from Mike uh, uh, and some links on some homework. Uh, I know we got a package today from Patty, and I so I think that they were cool little little uh, um, Ziploc things with dive logs and stuff. So I think uh, Kathy's going to be sending those out um, early next week. Um, but um, Mike, you want to talk a little bit about um, kind of the pre work um, that's required and and kind of that sort of stuff? Sure. Yeah, so something we started last year is we went away from doing all the coursework at camp. Um, in talking with uh, students over the last few years, we came to the, to the conclusion that who wants to come to camp and sit in a class for a week? You know, camp is supposed to be out doing active things and having fun. So what we're doing now is we're doing e-learning. So to do e-learning, I sh you all should have gotten the link I sent out, um, or I went onto Patty's website and assigned each of you the lesson. Um, so it went to the parents' email accounts. Uh, so if you don't get it in your inbox, check your spam and your junk to make sure you get that. Uh, it should come from Patty directly. It won't have my email address on it. Mike, what um, does Patty stand for? Professional Association of Dive Instructors. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so please make sure you check for that. Once you open it, um, it'll have all the information and the link that you need to go to to do the online training. Uh, Patty says the online training is about 12 to 15 hours. Uh, the good news is you don't have to sit and do it all at once. You can do an hour, turn it off, and it'll pick right back up where you left off. 
Um, the only thing I have to stress is between now and when you come to camp, it has to be done. Uh, we don't have computers to sit you down at to finish that up. Plus, we're going to be diving starting about a day and a half after you get to camp. So we don't have time in our schedule to do it either. So just look at now and, you know, you have X number of weeks and, and plan accordingly to get that done before you come to camp. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Uh, my email address is really easy. It's scuba at hayawinna.org. Um, and if you have any questions, I can help you uh, that way. Um, I also will be monitoring from my end to see how your progress is going. If I don't see it going and we get closer to the time that you arrive to camp, uh, you might get uh, an email or something just as a reminder that time is running short. Um, other than that, Bill talked about the packet. You're gonna be getting that packet in the mail. It has a white folder in it. Um, please fill out that folder if you would. It has a spot for name, address and everything. Um, just fill that out so when you come to camp, it's ready to go. Uh, you don't have to fill out the medical questionnaire that's on that folder because we're doing that ahead of time in, a pa in paper form. So you don't have to worry about that. Make sure you bring that whole folder back to camp with you though, because it has your dive log and your dive tables and everything that you need to um, track your dives while you're at camp. So don't leave that at home. It's not white this year. It's a pretty dive blue. It looks like a like there's a diver down in the ocean. So oh really? Yeah, oh dude. okay. They've dude. changed it. Big <laughs> surprise to me even. So uh, just make sure you bring that whole thing back to camp with you, um, and finish your work. Great. That's what I got on that. Well, um, so I you you should have also uh, gotten some stuff from Kathy on the packing list. Um, and uh, we kind of revamped all of our packing lists. So make sure you um, check that out. If you go to the parent resources page on our website, you can see the, the packing list, um, really important. Um, and um, uh, Mike, do you wanna uh, kind of continue and talk a little bit about the trip and kind of the, uh, the, the, the scope of kind of in-camp stuff too? Sure, uh, let me answer the question that just popped up real quick before I do. Uh, the online course is uh, videos. It's also some reading. Uh, they try to mix it up so you don't just get all reading and get bored. Um, and then there's knowledge reviews followed by some quizzes. And then at the end, there's a final exam. Uh, the knowledge reviews are usually five to 10 questions. The quizzes are usually about 10 questions. Um, you have to pass the quizzes and the final exam was 75% or higher. Um, and you can, it lets you retake them if you, if you don't pass the first time. So uh, don't panic if you, if you have any, any problems. So I hope that answers that question. Um, as for the trip, uh, the trip is in Alpena, Michigan. Um, Alpena is the, the founding location of the, uh, NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has a National Marine Sanctuary up here. Uh, right now, it's one of 14 marine sanctuaries, and it's the only one in freshwater. Uh, they are working at getting one in Wisconsin, but it's, it's still in the works. We are 4,000 square miles, is our marine sanctuary. Uh, it has over 100 identified shipwrecks, and they believe there's at least 200 more that they haven't found yet. Um, those shipwrecks range from literally some on the beach that you can walk up to see to wrecks. The one behind me is actually in 180 feet of water. Uh, and they, they range um, even deeper than that to two to 300 feet. So we go out and we do one dive in kind of an old uh, freighter dock. And that's a lot of fun and it's a really good dive to get used to diving in cold open water outside of Torch Lake. Um, and then the, we do three days of diving off of a charter boat where we are actually diving on shipwrecks for three days. And we do two dives a day. So you get six shipwreck dives off of a charter boat and then we'll do um, a sh couple shore dives if the weather lets us on some other shipwrecks as well. So that is uh, the diving on the trip. We stay at Long Lake Park Campground, 
Um, it's a really nice campground. We reserved uh, for Sal here, the same sites as last year. Um, they're kind of off to the side, so you get your own space, which is nice. It has a little swimming beach, uh, so you guys can hang out there, fire pit and all of those things. Um, if we get bad weather, we do have alternate uh, activities. There's some lighthouses we can go visit. The sanctuary has a really nice museum that just opened up two weeks ago after being closed for two years. So that's exciting. Um, and we have some other places we can go to fill bad weather time. So we don't just have to sit in the campsite. Um, so that's the base, base of the trip. There's no hiking involved. It's all base camping um, at the campground. Um, there's, a, there's a question about transportation. So we use vans. Um, so we have 15 passenger vans uh, and, uh, and certified drivers to, to go up. Um, and there's also a trailer um, with all of the scuba equipment that, um, that goes up as well. The other thing I wanted to, so because we're diving in cold open water, um, one of the changes that we made this year is um, you do not have to rent a wetsuit. Um, it's just part of the program cost. So um, uh, we made that change about halfway through the year. So I think we caught everybody that had already reserved, that had paid for a, a, a wetsuit and we've either refunded that money or put it in your camp store, um, but you will just get a, wet, a wetsuit. So make sure in your, um, uh, in your uh, 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 camp brain, in your knowledge base that you put the, the size that you need um, so that we can have uh, a somewhat of an idea. Um, we have a few of them in our, our deal, but there is no cost for a, a wetsuit this year. Uh, I just wanna to touch on that as well. Um, we, along with the wetsuit, we supply hoods, gloves and boots. So that's all included. Uh, the only thing we don't supply are fins, mask, snorkel. Um, we want fit, uh, mask and snorkel to be, it's because it's such a personal thing. We want you to have one that fits really well. So make sure you go to your local dive shop or, or somewhere and, and get one fitted and, and get that for yourself. Um, and then we ask that you bring a mesh bag to carry all your gear. Um, and that needs to be big enough to fit your wetsuit and your, all the rest of your dive gear in as well. So um, those are kind of the, the only dive related things we ask you to bring. Perfect. Um, there, there's a, how long is the trip? So you, there's uh, four days of, uh, it's a four day trip, isn't that right? Uh, well, yeah, four days of diving and then we have the drive each way, yeah. Um, so the, the food, uh, that's a really good question about the food. Um, we uh, just like, uh, it's kind of like car camping. So um, the, they'll be packed out. They won't have to eat dehydrated food like they would on Isle Royale or, um, uh, or in Killarney. But the, so they'll be packed out and um, uh, from food from camp. Um, so those menus are built um, by the Trip Shack. And actually your campers will have some uh, say-so in their food um, uh, choices. Um, this year, uh, when, when we do our, um, our trip preparations, uh, part of that is teaching our campers um, how to pack and prepare for, for the, the trip. So they'll have a little bit of um, say-so on some of their meals. Uh, they kind of work together to, to you know, camp over the, uh, uh, in the campsite. Um, so that's kind of the food. We also, of course, if there's any food allergies, our counselors know, and that's part of the pack out too. And you're nice, Bill. Last year, they had to use bow and arrow and get their own food. Um, the food at camp is great. Um, uh, we have, you'll be all really happy to know that uh, the salad bar is back. Um, and uh, we, I worked really hard uh, with Connie our, um, our food service uh, coordinator to, um, uh, to build a really kid-friendly menu um, that you know, fills the belly, but also is nutritious. Um, so I, you know, it, it is kid, there are kid-friendly things like spaghetti and, and chicken tenders, but you know, 
like there's also going to be enchiladas and and on our uh, on um, the uh, the big closing banquet we're going to have ribs and so uh, it's a it's a great um, uh, the, the the food is really wonderful. Um, we also um, uh, we are a peanut free and tree nut free uh, facility and if you've got dietary needs like you're a vegetarian. Uh, or dairy-free or gluten-free, we would have options for those um, as well. Um, so um, are there uh, any questions that we've had a couple of questions kind of go through there? Um, uh, any other questions that you guys have uh, that have come up as we're, we're thinking? You can just unmute uh, if you want, uh, or you can um, write it in the, um, the chat. How uh, so, is, go ahead. Mike. Go ahead, Bill. Go ahead. So I was just going to read the question. How many dives oh. do you do before the, before the trip? Yeah. So before the trip, you do. Uh, we do a minimum of nine dives. Uh, when we say dives, they the first five are done in a pool. Uh, so and they're only uh, as long as they need to be to complete the skills as a group. Um, we are fortunate that there's a pool about 20 minutes away from us at another camp that we get to use uh, to do those skills. So we are in a nice controlled environment. Uh, it's about eight feet deep. And so we can, we can do all those skills there. Then you do four dives out in the lake. Um, now, once we complete those dives, uh, if the cabin wants to do a couple more and we, if we have the time, that's something we can talk to the program director about. Um, making time to do those. Um, keep in mind that if we don't get through all the skills during one dive, we may roll that dive into the second one. So you may do more than nine to complete the skills, but the minimum is, is nine. Great. And then um, what's the deepest dive you do on the trip? Uh, deepest dive we do on the trip. So uh, Patty open water diver, uh, maximum is 60 feet. Um, we do have the possibility of pursuing advanced open water if that's something that your families agree to after you complete open water. If that's something you want to do, we can we can talk about that. And then on that dive, we go to about 67 to 70 feet on that on that deep dive. So great. Well, um, are there any other questions that you that this group has? Awesome. Well, I want to, um, I don't want to keep you guys too, uh, too long. Um, you can, um, we, uh, we do have a marketing opportunity. If you've got, um, uh, if you've got a friend or a cousin or a next door neighbor um, that you uh, want to, that th you think they would be successful at Hayawinta, we would love for you to refer them or refer a friend for campers um, if you refer someone to first session, um, there is um, a $200 store credit. And then if you refer someone to second session, you get a $100 store credit. And both of them get a limited edition Hayawinta flag. It won't be sold in the store. It's only given to this one, this one time. So if you've got somebody, there is one more spot left in the scuba cabin. Um, so if you have somebody that's a buddy, and then we also have a bunch of spots in our younger campers, uh, rangers and woodsmen. So um, if you know anybody that would be great, we would love for you to, to um, uh, we'd love to have you go there. Uh, how many kids will be in the cabin? So right now there are seven kids in the cabin. Uh, we have a maximum of eight, and then there'll be two counselors. Um, so 10 people living in, in one cabin. Uh, what was the part with Kathy? I don't, what was the part with Kathy? I don't know. You what, mentioned forms that maybe Kathy had sent out or. Oh, Kathy is sending out the, um, the packets, the scuba packets that Mike, uh, with your dive logs and uh, all of that. So it's got, a, it's got some forms for Patty. Um, so th those are going out uh, next week. So uh, also I'll, I'll piggyback on that uh, more for the parents than, than for the, the campers. But uh, Kathy is also gonna be sending out, it's either, I'm not sure if it's via mail or email, 
I think it's email. She's going to be sending out uh, three forms. Uh, they're PADI forms. One is a medical questionnaire. One is a liability release. And another one is a statement of understanding that um, you and uh, the camper will sign. Uh, please make sure you fill those out and get those back to, to Kathy in a timely manner. So if there's anything we need to um, adjust or work on, we have time to do that. Uh, on the medical questionnaire, um, there's little boxes to check, which is nice. You don't have to write quite as much. Um, but if you have any yeses to any of the medical questions, uh, you have to go to the doctor and have it have uh, people, their, your son cleared for diving. Um, it's usually not a big deal to take that to a doctor because they've had their camp physical or you can take it when they have their camp physical and have that filled out uh, as well by their doctor. Perfect. I've also put um, uh, both Mike's uh, scuba at heyawenta.org and my email in the chat. Um, so you're welcome to shoot us any questions that you might have and or that come up uh, after you've kind of processed this. So um, just uh, um, uh, let us know from there and we'll stick around for a little bit longer, but um, that's all that we've got tonight. And we're looking forward to camp starting soon. It's only, uh, we've got staff already arriving in here. So uh, it's, it's coming quick. So you guys have a great night. Thank you so much.